Hi everyone, Ken from Miniature Wargaming Warriors and today I've got a really exciting video for you. It's how I paint my Royal Navy ships in my flotilla. I use this across all my ships, so from my destroyers right up to my battleships. Aircraft carriers can be a little bit different, so I might do a separate video on that, but it's basically the same except for it's just lighter colours and you've obviously got the deck. I hope this guide is helpful for you if you're just starting out in Victory at Seas from Warlord Games. It is a really, really fun looking game and I can't wait to get my ships battling doms from Boots on the Table. So without further ado, let's get on with the guide. Okay, the first colour we're going to be using is Talisar Blue from Citadel's Contrast range. I'm going to be using this on the sea, so make sure you cover the sea well. Don't panic if you get it over the edge and also onto the ship itself, because we'll be neatening that up in a bit. Now the first coat's dry, we're going to now apply a second layer of Telesar Blue, just to darken it up a bit. So while the Talisar Blue is drying, we're going to use some green tone from the Army Painter just to pick out a few spaces in the sea, just to give it that green tinge. And then we're going to let it all dry for about an hour before we continue to the next step. Okay, the keen-eyed among you will probably see that I've already done the first coat around the base, which is dark Prussian blue. So you need two coats of this, so sadly it didn't record properly, so I've only got pictures of one coat. So two coats of dark Prussian blue around the base. So the main colour of the ship is London Grey, it's from Vallejo, it's their model colour range and you want to paint the whole ship in this colour to start with. I really do like this grey, it's quite a nice dark grey, it's the closest grey I could find to match the Royal Navy ships from the period that I had on hand and once the ship's complete I think it looks brilliant. So for me the next colour is flat brown from Vallejo, this is probably one of my favourite browns out of all the different paint ranges, so Citadel, Army Painter, Vallejo, you know, you name it, I love this brown. What I've decided to go with is I'm going to do it in flat brown for my destroyers, maybe some of my cruisers, but then my battleships I'm going to use Vallejo cork brown um, and maybe some of my larger cruisers I might do the same just to mix it up a little bit but the main deck color is going to be flat brown from Vallejo but remember you can use cork brown if you want it's any sort of brown sort of color you want do you want a lighter, a lighter deck or do you want a darker deck it's completely up to you but for me flat brown is the way to go And it's time for a second coat of flat brown from Vallejo just to neaten everything up and give it a bit more definition. So the next colour is going to be Ash Grey from the Army Painter. This is a lighter grey than the London Grey. This is going to be on anything that you could see from the side of the ship, so from sea level. Anything you can see sea level that's actually on the side of the ship, apart from the hull, you want to be painting in this Ash Grey. This includes the main structure of the ship, also the gun turrets. You want to be painting those on the side in the Ash Grey, and the London Grey needs to stay on the top. But again, this step is optional. If you're going to be doing any of the battleships or any of the cruisers, you might just want to leave them one tone of grey. You might want to use this ash grey all over instead of the London grey. All depends on what you want to do. But for me, it's going to be ash grey on the side and London grey if you're going to be looking from above.
Okay, the next colour is matte black, and this is just going to be to fill in the inside of the masts. So this is one of my favourite parts, is applying all the washes and tones. So for this one, I've gone for a 50-50 mix with dark tone and quick shade mixing medium from the Army Painter. You could also use 50-50 mix of dark tone and water uh, or 50-50 mix of dark tone and the contrast paint mixing medium as well. It's up to you whatever you want to use, but I'm going to go with the Army Painter range, so I'm going to use the quick shade mixing medium for this, and it's going to go all over the ship. After this, what we're going to do is we're going to move on to the final colour, which is white, and then we're going to just do any touch-ups and pick out a few of the details. Okay, this is the final step now, so it's matte white from the Army Painter. What you want to be doing is picking out all the white parts. So for this, I do all the wakes on the actual base itself. I just pick these out, not trying to go too thick with it, so I try to water it down a little bit. You can dry brush this, but I like to pick these out with the smaller bases, so like destroyers. I just follow the contour lines that they've got on the actual base. You also want to be picking out the white on top of the lifeboats and you also want to be picking out the white on the side where you do the name. So that bit is really tricky and you just want to take your time with that. You want to make sure that you use a nice finely pointed brush and you just take your time really. Just remember guys you can also pick out little details like life rings if you really want to do that and it depends how much detail you want to go into. So you can spend some time going over this whole miniature picking out anything you want and just painting it white or like I say the life rings I've done them like in an orange colour they probably were a different colour um, during the war but I've done them like they would be in civilian time the reason for that is it helps it stand out a little bit I've had a really good time painting this up and I really really am looking forward to playing these with Dom when we can get back round to actually yeah, meeting up but they're really simple and really easy to paint and they don't take very long either you know if I wasn't filming it, you know it's probably about 25 minutes of pure like painting time without drying time so it's not long to paint these up and you can get the whole box done probably within a week if you uh, paint one a night you, you can paint three destroyers in a night to be honest or if you batch painted them you can paint them really quick just while I got you guys Monday nights 8 o'clock UK time we do the plastic crack podcast it's me boots on the table Dom Martin Seventh Son and Steve from 1.HQ this week we've got the Perry's from Perry Miniatures coming up and uh, yeah it should be one hell of a ride we've had them on before and we really look forward to welcoming them back i'm sure we're going to be talking about all their different ranges and we're going to be doing a little hangout i'm sure they'll be painting as well so look forward to seeing that eight o'clock uk time be sure to check out the plastic crack podcast facebook group and also my facebook group miniature wargaming warriors and we are all on instagram as well so check that out but thanks very much for watching guys see you again very soon and bye bye for now